Tonight, let's read a book, a book about a little boy, a handsome and very charming little boy. The book's about his family, a family with a very famous father. And the book is about the boy's life, a life doctors are watching very closely. Can you say hi into the microphone? Hi. The boy is three-year-old Gunnar Esiason. You know his dad. Boomer swaggered into Cincinnati a decade ago and took the Bengals to Super Bowl 23. But this story isn't about football. It's about Gunner, cystic fibrosis, and his parents' constant concern. Because you know you're, you're, you're dealing with a ticking time bomb and you just don't know when, when it's going to go off. You sure wouldn't expect a bomb here. Gunner's active, he's happy, and he's extremely smart. And that's the thing about cystic fibrosis. You wouldn't know that most of the kids are sick unless they told you. Um, but we do know as parents, and, and they do know as patients as they grow older, that it is a silent killer. Come on, guys. <laughs> the cough breaks the silence. Cystic fibrosis fills one's lungs with phlegm, raises the risk of infection, and causes difficulty in digestion. There's a set regimen, day in and day out, of medication and therapy to clear the lungs and reduce the risk. And the story goes on. A year after CF was diagnosed, Gunner thrives. He has his dad's direct manner, his mother Cheryl's eyes, and his own keen curiosity. He was fascinated with Sean Dunster's camera. Well, Let me you take a picture of your face. Oh, yeah. Okay, you want to take a picture of my face? And he did. There's Sean's face. He took some pictures of his dad, and he closed in on his little sister, Sydney. Gunner doesn't much know or care about his condition, but it's one that Boomer, Cheryl, and thousands of other parents deal with every day. Well, you know, it is tough, John, and one of the, the, the toughest things that I had to deal with, here I am as this professional athlete, my body has taken me to levels that very few people are able to achieve, and then lo and behold, I pass on a defective gene to my son. The story continues. Gunner says, I love my daddy. He sets up the engine and plays trains with me. Let's go upstairs and take a look. Come on, John. Okay. Let's go, come on, let's go show John. Go. Up the stairs we go. I expect to see a nice little choo-choo train. Here it comes. What I get is Amtrak, Lionel Heaven. And it's easy to see this is a favorite spot for Gunner and his dad to come. They come. set it up together, they run the railroad together. Whoa, and when they crash. had a wreck, they put it all back together, together. You wish fixing the human body was so clean and simple. One of the most encouraging things about cystic fibrosis is, uh, one, we understand it in a way we never did before because of the isolation of the gene that causes cystic fibrosis. Great strides have been made because of research centers like the one at Children's Hospital Medical Center in Cincinnati. They have been so open to us, and the facility that they have there and the competency at which they, they operate is phenomenal. A Sports Illustrated story last year made Gunner the unofficial symbol for fighting CF. And Boomer, through his Heroes Foundation, has already raised hundreds of thousands of dollars, most of it coming back to Cincinnati to go to work. It takes time, it takes trial, it takes error. Just like football, time, trial, and error, but you can never quit. The, the, the great thing about him, though, is he never complains, and he just goes right on about his business and does what we ask him to do, and I think that's what makes it so much easier for me and his mom. The story concludes with a future. He says, when I grow up, I want to be an engineer and drive a train. There's a lot of people working to make that happen, to make sure the story continues.